and social infrastructure. Yet, the challenge remains how do we scale energy access to our immediate million people while meeting our interest in climate, climate obligation. India has made a firm place to reach net zero emission by 2070. And we are processing, progressing with the safety. Though we are the third largest emitter globally, contributing around 7% to total emission. Our per capita emissions remain remarkably low compared to advanced nations, just 1.9 ton per capita versus the UK, UK is 4.7% and Australia, Australia is 3%. This demonstration that our development has not come at the cost of energy. Rather, we are innovating our way forward. With renewable energy now, comprising over 45% of our total installed capacity of at present 462 GW. Bengal is proud to be a contributor to this transformation a cleaner energy mix led by the solar, wind and green hydrogen is the future. But to unlock this, we must invest in energy storage system that can address intermittency and ensure stability. This is the focus area of our Department. As we aim to organize infrastructure with advanced technologies that support work efficiency and flexibility. Another practice is to reduce our dependence on important fossil fuels, which is steam, which is steam make, make up nearly 40% of India's total energy demand. This is not just a matter of economics. It is a matter of national energy security. Diversifying with domestic, local <coughs> resources in the South Asia, living and relies and shield us from global price volatility. Policy interventions are key under the guidance of our under the Chief Minister, Mohammed Energy, Bengal is aligning incentives, regulatory frameworks, and infrastructure investment to support the rapid adoption of renewable renewables. Whether it is solar power, neighborly policy, or rooftop initiative, our state is committed to facilitating. Green innovation. Yes, challenges persist from balancing peak demand and carbon intensity to navigating geopolitical risks and climate related threats like rising temperature, which a few years ago, Mr. Rundai. In from the houses and quarters very nicely. And uh, this demand sustains investment, both financial and the intellectual, in research, infrastructure, and education. This unclear, I believe, will serve as a catalyst for deeper collaboration. Let us not see see this as a team gathering but as a strategic mission to prove that we are to lead in the clean energy future though joining first we can make this sector a driver of economic growth 
job creation and environmental restoration. So there is what we call sign as backbone of this much of energy industry. Not only in India, but in the entire world. So thank you once again, MCCI, our dignitaries and all partners present today. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat. Thank you.